Hello, hello, second graders. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the story of the mixed up chameleon. I absolutely love that story because it reminds me that even though I can't do things that other people do or I don't look like other people do, um, that at the end of the day, it's best to just be me. It's best to just be yourself. Um, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make our own chameleons. So today all you guys are going to need is something to draw with, um, something to color with. I am actually going to be using a black oil pastel, um, but you guys can definitely use a black crayon for this step. And then I'm actually going to finish the project with watercolors. Um, <clears throat> so if you have watercolors, you should have your own tray. Um, if you haven't gotten your own tray yet from me, please um, let me know and I'll drop it in the office for you to come pick up. Or if you have your own paints at home, that works too. So that's all we're going to be using today. I actually have this um, black oil pastel crayon that I've been wanting to try out. So we are going to do that today. Okay, so start out with a white piece of paper. You're going to want to hold it landscape. So that is the wide way. And you are going to start out by putting a dot in the middle of your paper. Okay, and that is blurry. There we go. Um, then all you want to do is a line going up but not all the way to the top and a line going forward but not all the way to that line so I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger there you go then you are just going to connect those two lines with a curved line all right great now we are going to do the body so you're just going to start from that dot again and go straight out and I like to make this line longer than this one because um, this is the head and this is the body. So I like to make my body a little bit longer than I made the head. Um, but you don't want to go all the way to the edge of your paper because we still need space for a tail. So then we're going to do the same thing we did before. We're just going to curve up and back. And I like to make it a little bit shorter than the head um, just to keep it um, looking like two separate pieces. Okay, then I'm going to slide my paper again. And then you're going to start at the back end of your chameleon and you're going to just curve down, swirl around, and come back. There you go. Now there's two ways you can do this. You can start back here and then curve down and around and come back to the top, or you can start up here and you can add thickness by just kind of parallel lining that, that line and then connect it at the end like that. All right. So now we're going to go over to the head and we're going to do that same swirl, but we're going to start here and we're going to actually make this one swirl out and up and around, but we're not going to make this one thicker. So we're going to go out, around and around and make that spiral line. Now this is a stage where some students like to add like a little fly for our chameleon to catch, um, but that is up to you. Okay, so now in the head, we are going to draw a circle for the eye, and I like to do another circle inside and color almost all the way in. And you guys can do that however you would like as well. Okay, so now we're going to add some pattern to our chameleon. I'm going to do some stripes. I saw some students today do like dots that looked pretty cool, some spots. Um, you can do it all the way down the tail. These will just give you fun, interesting places to paint in a little bit. All right, then we are just going to add a branch or a leaf or a stick um, for a chameleon to sit on. And I'm going to be doing overlapping. So this line is going to go behind the tail. So I've got to kind of jump and then continue it there. And I'm going to do the other end of my, the other part of my stick here, and then continue it over there. Then I'm going to make two little legs to connect my chameleon to the stick. And then I'm going to make some branches coming out. And some branches off of my branches. And some more branches off of my branches with some leaves on the end. And you can make some more leaves or branches or whatever you'd like. Make this one split. 
There we go. Have some leaves coming off of there. Can add a sunshine. Can add a rain cloud. You can add tons of leaves. Whatever else you want to add to your chameleon, you can go ahead and do that. All right, so now I'm going to pull out my paints. And we are going to paint the picture however you want. So you can paint the background, you can paint the chameleon. I always encourage painting all of it. Uh, my students here at school painted no white space showing besides like if you want to leave the eyeball white. Um, so our goal here today was to leave no white spaces showing to paint the whole thing. So sky, background, stick, chameleon, everything. And they did and they turned out awesome. I always like it when we color the whole paper. I know it's a lot of work and I know it takes a long time, but I always think it looks so much better because sky doesn't really look that much fun if it's white, right? Backgrounds aren't that interesting if they're white, but if they're like a sunrise or they're blue or green or some beautiful color, um, it's just so much more interesting to me. All right, and I'm just gonna do a rainbow. I'm gonna do a rainbow chameleon. but you can color your chameleon however you want. You can make them green, you can make them orange, you can make them blue, whatever you want your chameleon to be is totally fine with me. But make him or her beautiful, colorful, fantastic. All right, this video is reaching that seven minute mark. So I am going to let you guys finish these on your own. I will shut the video off and continue painting on my own. And you guys can go ahead and take a picture when you're finished, send it to me, let me know what you got. Also, if you have not picked up your watercolor tray yet and you would like it, um, just let me know your name, your teacher name, and I will drop that in the office for you to come and pick up. That is no problem with me. Alrighty guys, I will talk to you guys next week and I can't wait to see all your cute chameleons.